Hi guys, welcome back to it's Chef Dwight. Today I'll be giving you a brown stew chicken recipe and I'll be serving that for dinner alongside with some rice and peas. So guys, stay tuned, enjoy the video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Guys, washing and preparing my chicken. I'm gonna do a brown stew recipe. And just a few of the ingredients that I'll be using in the seasoning process. I have my onion, bell pepper, thyme, a scallion. So guys, join me to do the preparation. Alright guys, so for, for measurement for your most of your seasoning, if you want you can use a tablespoon just to know how much seasoning you want on your meat. A tablespoon is just about the size you want for your seasoning. And then you can still measure by just looking at it. Crush a few pimentos. Usual suspects. Browning. This will give it a dark color for those who are Jamaican. And you can also burn the sugar. Careful not to add too much browning because the chicken will be black. And when, and when I say black, I mean black. So you have to be light, light with the with the browning. Now I'm gonna cut up my onion. And these are called the herbs, the herbs of the of the seasoning process. All right. I'd wash my stuff before I put them in the fridge, but you know, you still can wash them off. But always remember, once you, you bring home your produce, you have to clean them because you don't know what they're or where they have been throughout the journey to get to the supermarket and then you pick it up and brought it home so I just want to just cut the bell pepper up I have other colors but it's nothing fancy so I just decided to just use the red and guys as soon as you're finished you just put this down for like 20 30 minutes in the refrigerator and it marinates. I didn't wash the scallion, so now I have to wash it. Wash it and then you strip off the these areas, the coating of it. And then you cut the ends off. And you just cut them up. Now guys, for this brown stew chicken recipe, you're gonna see step by step process. And I hope you guys enjoy. Please remember guys, watch the video, like it, share it, tell me what you think about it. Alright guys, what am I missing? I'm missing the time. Oh, I need to um, crush the pimento, that's why I haven't put it in as yet. So now I'm going to just mix everything up. I 
eyes are starting to burn already from the onion. Look at that guys. That's just the preparation. Now I haven't put in the salt as yet. Just probably a quarter of a teaspoon or maybe less. Too much salt. Perfect. Look at that. Alright, guys, so join me when I'll start in the cooking preparation. I'm gonna be eating my brown stew chicken with some rice and peas. There's my peas. So, guys, I'm gonna add some cooking oil to my skillet. Not much because I just want to brown, brown the, the chicken. So you don't want to put a lot. And guys, what I love to do is when I'm doing this, you have different ways I'm doing. You can separate the herbs from the chicken, or you can just throw it in and do everything in one. But I want to separate most of the herbs from the chicken to put it in. I'm going to throw a garlic head. So guys, right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be separating the herbs from the chicken so I can fry them and then add the herbs later on with the broth. So guys, stay tuned. Okay, I'm ready. Now guys, as the title said, it's brown stew chicken, so you want to just brown the chicken a bit. And then you can start stewing it. So you brown and then you stew it. That's what it got, it got the name from. So first you brown it and then you stew it down. Perfect name for a perfect recipe. Jamaican brown stew chicken. Alright. So, just basically gonna add everything and let it get that little color that I want it to get. And then I'll show you guys. The last piece. I'll find a spot for it. There you go. Oh no, it's not the last piece. I tried my best to keep most of the herbs out. Well, I did my best. It's not much left. Now, guys, this is gonna be making up the broth or the gravy once it's too done. So, guys, see you soon. And as I said, my rice and peas. So guys, join me in a few and I'll be turning them over for the browning process. 
Alright guys, so it's about that time that you check it. Yep. Browning up well. Kinda sticking, so I need to turn the stove down. But there you go. Whoa, guys! Brown stew chicken in the Sunday evening. Well, afternoon, because it's twelve eighteen. All right, guys. So I'm gonna add the broth. Of course, you know, I, I use the water from the kettle to keep the temperature. Look at those colors. Guys, so when next you join me, guys, <laughs> I was wondering why the pot wasn't boiling up when I had the water. I actually turned off the chicken pot instead of the kettle pot. So luckily, I picked it up sooner. So you see, it's starting to bubble back up. Alright guys, so now I'm going to add a little ketchup. And at this time you can taste it to see how far off it's up from the taste that you want it to have. Really nice and thick. Yeah. You just want to tip a little in your hand. Oh, not bad. I'm going to cover it up and let it cook a little bit more. So, guys, what I want you to do now is join me at the table. Guys, look at that. This is the finishing product. Please remember, guys, like the video, comment, share, subscribe. Brown Stew Chicken.